I wanted to show you this new plane that I've just picked up. It's a Queen Shing low angle jack plane and I managed to get it a good price in a sale. So let's take a look straight out of the box. Well there's a corrugated cardboard outer sleeve, corrugated cardboard box itself, here's the plane and as you can see I have taken it out before, it came wrapped in this uh, plastic bag and had some rust preventative oil on it, that was wrapped around with some bubble wrap and as far as I've been able to tell it sustained no damage during transit. So what is a low angle jack and how does this match up to my expectations? This is the Quang Sheng number 62 low angle jack plane. In many respects it's a low angle version of a number 5 bench plane. But obviously there are some differences. The frog is part of the casting. It's at a much lower angle. I think this is 12 and a half degrees. There's a lever cap, then we have a single blade, no chip breaker on here and it's put in the plane bevel up. So the effective planing angle is the bed angle 12 and a half degrees plus whatever angle you decide to bevel the front of the blade. The bed that the iron rests on has been milled and as opposed to the bench planes, getting a milling machine or milling bit down to that bed is a lot easier. These wings are, are much lower and we're only trying to create one flat surface. We're not trying to create a pair of mating surfaces for a frog and then a flat surface on the frog itself. So I'm hopeful that that's quite flat. The adjustment mechanism has both depth and lateral adjustment on it, working very much like a, a Norris adjuster. And a lovely feature on these planes is that by unscrewing the front knob a bit, we can adjust the position of the front of the sole, opening or closing the mouth up. Just looking at the machining on the plane itself, it looks pretty good. There don't appear to be any sharp spots on it. The movable toe on the sole seems to be machined well against the rest of the sole, all nice and flat. If I adjust it to its extremes, Still nice and flat, fully adjusted forwards, fully adjusted backwards, again nice and flat. The handles have a nice feel to them, again nothing sharp on there. They feel quite sturdy and all the brass screws that are used on there have got a reasonably good finish on them. The lever cap is a casting. Uh, it looks quite nice, well finished on the top. I suspect that the face that touches the, the iron, it looks a bit rough. So I'm just going to check that with my straight edge on the blade of my tri-square. And that doesn't mate all that well, so I suspect it could do with a little bit of work. Against the iron itself, I can feel a little bit of rock there. So I think I'm going to need to do a little bit of work on it to get the best performance out of it. But this is an out of the packet uh, review, so 
I'm not going to do anything to the blade, no honing, just straight back in. The low angle jack is quite well praised for being able to tackle difficult timbers, but I personally feel that's probably more to do with the fact that you can quickly change out the blade for one that's got a much steeper bevel on it, giving you a much higher effective planing angle. Probably straight out of the box, it's not going to be any better than a standard 45 degree bench plane. But we'll give it a go and see how we get on. This is quite a difficult piece of timber. Uh, it's softwood, spruce, I believe, with uh, quite wild grain. So that, was, that should be quite interesting. So I'll just wind out the blade until we're cutting. Actually, that's quite annoying, and I should point this out at the, right away. I can't reach, and I've got reasonably long fingers, I can't reach the depth adjuster whilst my hand is round the handle. I can with one finger, but that's not having any effect on it. I need to get there with a finger and a thumb, even though the lever cap is quite, uh, quite loose. So that's quite a pain. Of course, ordinarily I'd be setting up using a little shim. So I would have a, a free hand. That's a reasonable shaving. giving me tear out already. So, so far, not that great. So now that it's taking a shaving, that's actually pretty thick, probably about three or more thou, which is a little disappointing. But I'll plane the board a bit more and see if we can get that down a little bit. That's perhaps a little bit better, but still probably twice as thick as I'd like to be able to get from this plane. And uh, it is struggling with the difficult grain. We're getting tear out in quite a lot of places. So I think I'll probably get no further than just a little over 2,000. I'll measure those up and include those results at the end of the video because obviously just doing it from touch alone is a little bit inaccurate. 
but definitely producing quite a lot of dust. So I think it's safe to say that in terms of the plain iron, it needs a little bit of attention before we can do any good work with it. Generally though, the finish on the plane is good, the handles are comfortable. I think with some work on the plane itself, particularly on the iron, perhaps just sorting out the contact between the lever cap and the iron as well, we should be able to get a plane that's working really well. I'm not going to suggest you go out and buy one yet, because I think as far as this goes, it's quite an expensive plane, although it's mid-range, it's still quite expensive and unless I can get it to perform better than it does at the moment, um, it would not be on my recommended list. I'd really like to compare the out-of-the-box performance of this plane with ones from Veritas and Lee Nielsen. So if their suppliers would like to provide me with one, I'd do a comparison video and publish it on this channel. So let's take a look at the thickness of the shaving I'm able to produce straight out of the box. And that's 0.1 millimeter. Now I've just spent literally 30 seconds on a fine India stone and 30 seconds on my MDF honing board. And let's see whether it's any better. Well, I think that speaks for itself. It certainly looks a lot thinner to me. Full width shaving. And that's less than 0.05 of a millimetre. So just one minute's work on this plane has turned it from something pretty average into very good actually. And I should suspect that's as good as a Lee Nielsen or a Veritas out of the box. So there's a real challenge to them. You send me one off your production line and I'll compare it with this. Whether it's worth paying twice as much to save yourself a minute's work, who knows. Equation number 62, low angle jack plane.